Hey everybody, this is Matt Kramer here. I'm going to do uh, a reading of the last few chapters of Leviticus for Sunday. Uh, it's Friday, Good Friday. Uh, so I'm going to read it, but uh, post it and make it available on Sunday. So we're going to start with chapter 23 of Leviticus. The Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest, a holy convocation. Ye shall do no work uh, therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. In the fourteenth day of the first month, Abib, is, at evening, is the Lord's Passover. On the fifteenth day of the same month, is a feast of unleavened bread unto the Lord. Seven days ye must eat unleavened bread. In the first day ye shall... The first day you shall have a holy convocation. Uh, you shall do no servile work uh, therein. Verse 7. Servile, late, laborious work. But you shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord seven days. In the, on the seventh day, in the seventh, on the seventh day is a holy convocation. You shall do no servile or laborious work therein. The Lord speak unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come into the, unto the, into the land, which I give unto you, and shall reap the harvest thereof, then you shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest. He shall wave the sheaf before the Lord to be accepted for you on the morrow after the Sabbath the priest shall wave it. You shall offer that day when ye wave the sheaf uh, a he lamb without blemish on the first year for a burnt offering into, unto the Lord. The meat offering thereof shall be two tenths deals of fine flour mingled with oil, an offering made by fire unto the Lord for sweet savor, and the drink offering thereof shall be of wine, the fourth part of a hen. Ye shall eat neither bread, nor parched corn, nor green ears, ears of corn, until the selfsame day that ye have brought an offering unto your God. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. You shall count unto you from the morrow after the Sabbath, from the day that ye brought the sheaf of the wave offering. Seven Sabbaths shall be complete. Even unto the morrow after the seventh Sabbath, ye shall number fifty days, and ye shall offer new meat offering unto the Lord. Ye shall bring out of your habitations two wave loaves of two tenths deal, two tenths of deals. They shall be of fine flour. They shall be baking. Baking with leaven, they are the first fruits unto the Lord. You shall offer with the bread seven lambs without blemish of the first year, and one young bullock and two rams, they shall be for burnt offering unto the Lord, with their meat offering and their drink offerings, even an offering made by fire of sweet savor unto the Lord. Then you shall sacrifice one kid of the goats for sin offering, and two lambs of the, of, of the first year for sacrifice of peace offerings. The priest shall wave them with the bread of the first fruits for wave offering before the Lord with the two lambs. They shall be holy to the Lord for the priest. You shall proclaim on the selfsame day that it may be a, a holy convocation unto you. You shall not do no laborious work therein. It shall be a statue forever in all your dwellings throughout your generations. When ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not make clean riddance of the corners of thy field when thou reapest, neither shalt thou gather any gleaning of thy harvest. 
Thou shalt leave them unto the poor and to the stranger. I am the Lord your God. The Lord spake unto the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, speaking to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall you have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing of trumpets, a holy conv convocation. You shall do no servile or laborious work therein, but you shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. The Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Also in the tenth day of the seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation unto you, and you shall afflict your souls. And offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. You shall do no work in the, self, in, the, in, the, in the same day, for it is a day of atonement to make an atonement for you before the Lord your God. For whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. Whatsoever soul it be that doeth any work in that same day, the same soul will I destroy from among his people. You shall do no manner of work. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest, and you shall afflict your souls. In the ninth day of the month, is that right? Yeah. In the ninth day of the month, at evening, from evening unto evening, shall ye celebrate your Sabbath, or sundown to sundown. The Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of this seventh month shall be the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days unto the Lord. On the first day shall be in a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile or laborious work therein. Seven days ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. On the eighth day shall be a holy convocation unto you, and ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a solemn assembly, and ye shall do no servile work therein. These are the feasts. Oops. These are the feasts. Uh, where am I? These are the feasts of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, to offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, a burnt offering, and a meat offering, a sacrifice, drink offerings, and, and drink offerings, everything upon his day. Beside the Sabbaths of the Lord, and beside your gifts, and beside all your vows, and beside all your free will offerings which ye give unto the Lord, also in the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when ye have gathered in the fruit of the land, ye shall keep a feast uh, unto the Lord seven days. On the first day shall be a Sabbath, and on the eighth day shall be a Sabbath. <coughs> Excuse me. You shall take, you shall take you on the first day the bow, ba the boughs of goodly trees. Uh, verse forty. The boughs. Oh, the fruit. Yeah, that's a better word. The fruit of the goodly tree, good trees, branches of palm trees, and the, and the fruit of thick trees, and willows of the brook, and you shall rejoice before the Lord your God seven days. You shall keep it a feast unto the Lord seven days in a, in a year. It shall be a statue forever in your generations. You shall celebrate it in the seventh month. You shall dwell in booths seven days. Booths. <laughs> Verse 42. Booths. Uh, 42. Uh, uh, no. Tabernacles. There we go. Is that, is that right? Yeah. Tabernacles. So dwell in booths. Yeah. Tabernacles. Okay. Dwell in tabernacles seven days. All that in are Israelites born shall dwell in the tabernacles. That your generations may know that I am, that I made the children of Israel to dwell in tabernacles or booths, when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Moses declared unto the children of Israel the feasts of the Lord. Chapter twenty-four. The Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel that they bring unto thee pure olive, pure oil olive. Pure oil, olive beaten for the light, 
to cause the lamps to burn continually. Without the veil of the testimony in the tabernacle of the congregation shall Aaron order it from the evening until the morning before the Lord continually. It shall be a statue forever in your generations. He shall order the lamps upon the pure candlestick before the Lord continually. Thou shalt take fine flour and bake twelve cakes thereof. Two tenth deals shall be in one cake. Cake. Thou shalt set them in two rows, six on a row, upon the pure table before the before the Lord. Thou shalt put pure frankincense upon each row, and that it may be on the bread of the memorial, even an, an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Every Sabbath he shall set it in order before the Lord continually, being taken from the children of Israel by an everlasting covenant. There shall be Aaron's and his sons, and they shall eat it in the holy place, for it is most holy unto him of the offerings of the Lord, made by fire, by a perpetual statute. The son of an Israelite woman, whose father was an Egyptian, went out among the children of Israel. And this son of the Israelite Tish, interesting, Israelite Tish, the first time also, Israelite Tish woman, and the men of Israel strove together in the camp. The Israelite Tish woman's son blasphemed in the name of the Lord and cursed. And they brought him unto Moses, and his mother's name was Shalometh, Shalometh the daughter of Debri, Debri, D I B R I, D I B R I, of the tribe of Dan. They put him in ward, or in prison, that the mind of the Lord might be showed them. The Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Bring forth him that hath cursed outside the camp, and let all that heard him lay their hands upon his head, and let all the congregation stone him. Thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, Whosoever curseth his God shall bear his sin. He that blasphemeth the name of the Lord, he shall surely be put to death, and all of the congregation shall certainly stone him, as well as the stranger as he that is born in the land when he blasphemeth the name of the Lord shall be put to death. He that killeth any man shall surely be put to death. He that killeth a beast shall make it good, beast for beast. If a man cause a, ble a blemish in his neighbor, as he hath done, so shall it be done to him. Breach for breach, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, as he hath caused a blemish in a man, so shall it be done to him again. He that killeth a beast, he shall restore it, and he that killeth a man, he shall be put to death. You shall have one manner of law, as well as for the stranger, as for one in your own country. Uh-oh. Um, over a pitch. Uh, where was that? You shall have one. Oh, you shall have one law. Okay, here we go. Verse twenty-two. You shall have one manner of law, as well as the, as for the stranger, as for one of your own country. For I am the Lord your God. Moses spake unto the spake to the children of Israel that they should bring forth him that curse out outside the camp out of the camp and stone him with stones. The children of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moses. Ooh. Chapter 25. Two more two more chapters to go. I believe. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, two more chapters to go. Uh, uh, 25. The Lord spake unto Moses in Mount Sinai, saying, Speak unto, speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land which I give you, then shall the land keep a Sabbath unto the Lord. Excuse me, six years thou shalt sow thy field, and six years thou shalt prune thy vineyard, and gather in the fruit thereof. But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of rest unto the Lord, unto the land, a Sabbath for the Lord. Thou shalt neither sow thy field nor prune thy vineyard. That which groweth of its own accord of thy harvest thou shalt not reap, neither gather the grapes of thy vine undressed, for it is a year of rest unto the unto the land. Wow, twenty five is a long one. And the Sabbath of the land shall be 
meat for you, for thee, and for thy servant, and for thy maid, and for thy hired servant, and for thy stranger that sojourneth with thee. For thy cattle, and for the beasts that are in thy land, shall all the increase thereof be meat. Thou shalt number seven Sabbaths of years unto thee, seven times seven years. Forty-nine years. And the space of the seven Sabbaths of years shall be unto thee forty-nine. Uh, there it is, forty-nine. Uh, forty-nine years. Then, then shalt thou cause the trumpet of jubilee, jubile, jubile, it's jubilee, I believe, to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month. In the day of atonement shall ye make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. Ye shall hallow the fiftieth year and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you, and ye shall return shall return every man unto his possession, and ye shall return every man unto his family. A jubilee shall be that fiftieth year shall that fiftieth year be unto you. Ye shall not sow, neither reap that which groweth in, of itself in it, nor gather the grapes in it of thine own of thy vine un, undressed. For it is the jubilee, it shall be holy unto you. You shall eat the increase thereof out of the field. In the year of this jubilee, you shall return every man unto his possession. If thou sell aught or anything unto thy neighbor, or buyest anything of thy neighbor's hand, ye shall not oppress one another. According to the number of years after the jubilee, thou shalt buy of thy neighbor, and according to Unto the number of years of, fruit, of the fruits, he shall sell unto thee. According to the multitude of years, thou shalt increase the price thereof. And according to the fewness of years, thou shalt diminish the price of it. For according to the number of the years of the fruits, doth he sell unto thee. You shall not therefore opp oppress one another, but thou shalt fear thy God, for I am the Lord your God. Wherefore ye shall do my statutes, and keep my judgments, and do them, and ye shall dwell in the land in safety. The land shall yield her fruit, and ye shall eat your fill, and dwell therein in safety. If ye shall say, What shall we eat the seventh year? Behold, we shall not sow, nor gather in our increase. Then I will command my blessing upon you in the sixth year, and it shall bring forth fruit for three years. Ye shall sow the eighth year, and eat ye yet of the old fruit until the ninth year, until your fruits come in ye, come in ye shall in, until the, her fruits come in, ye shall eat of the old store. The land shall not be sold forever, or at all, for the land is is mine, for ye are strangers and sojourners with me. In all the land of your possessions ye shall grant a redemption for the land. If thy brother be waxen poor, and hath sold away some of his possession, and if any of his kin come to redeem him, then shall he redeem that which his brother sold. And if the man have none to redeem it, and himself be able to redeem it. Uh, hello. Okay. Yeah. Then count him the years of the sale thereof, and restore the overplus unto the man to whom he sold it, that he may return unto his possession. But if he not be able to restore it to him, then that which is sold shall remain in the hand of him that hath bought it unto the year Jubilee, and in the Jubilee it shall go out, and he shall return unto his possession. If a man shall sell a dwelling house in the walled city, then he may redeem it within a whole year after it is sold. Within the full year may he redeem it. If it be not redeemed within the space of a full year, then the house that is in the walled city shall be established forever to him that bought it throughout his generations. It shall not go out in the jubilee. But the houses of the villages which have no wall round about them shall be counted as the field of the country, they may be, they may, they may be redeemed, and they shall go out in the jubilee. Notwithstanding the cities of the Levites and the houses of the cities of their possession, may the Levites redeem at any time. 
If a man purchase of the Levites, then the house that was sold in the city of his possession shall go out in the year of Jubilee. For the houses of the cities of the Levites are their possession among the children of Israel. But the field of the suburbs of the cities may not be sold, for it is their perpetual possession. If thy brother be waxen poor and fallen in decay with, with thee, then thou shalt relieve him. Yea, thou though he, he be a stranger or a sojourner that he may live with thee. Take thou no usury of him or increase, but fear thy God that thy brother may live with thee. Thou shalt not give him thy money upon usury nor lend him thy victuals for increase. I am the Lord your God who brought you out forth out of the land of Egypt to give you the land of Canaan or Canaan and to be your God. If thy brother that dwelleth by thee be waxen poor and be sold unto thee, thou shalt not compel him to serve as a bondservant. But as a hired servant and as a sojourner, he shall be with thee and shall serve thee unto the year of Jubilee. Then shall he depart from thee, both he and his children with him, and shall return unto his own family and unto the possession of his fathers shall he return. For they are my servants, which I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. They shall not be sold as bondmen. Thou shalt not rule, thou shalt not rule over him with rigor, but shalt fear thy God. Both thy bondmen and thy bondmaids, which thou, sh thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall ye buy a bond bondmen and bondmaids. Moreover, the children of Israel, the strangers, the, excuse me, Moreover, the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you, of them shall ye buy, and of their families that are with you, which they begat, begat in your land, and they shall be your possession. And uh, ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you, to inherit them for a possession. They shall be your bondsmen forever, but over your brethren, the children of Israel, ye shall not rule one over another with rigor. If a sojourner or stranger wax wax rich by thee, and thy brother that dwelleth by, by him wax poor, and sell himself unto the stranger or sojourner by thee, or to the stock of the stranger's family. After that he is sold, he may be redeemed again. One of his brethren may redeem him, either his uncle or his uncle's son, nephew, may redeem him, redeem him or any that is near of kin unto him of his family may redeem him or if he be able he may redeem himself he shall reckon with him that that bought him from the year that he was sold unto him unto the year of jubilee and the price of his sale shall be according unto the number of years according to the time of a of a hired servant shall be with him if there be yet many years behind, according to, unto them, he shall give again the price of his redemption out of, his, out, out of the money that he was bought for. If there remain but a few years unto the year of Jubilee, then he shall count with him, and according to, unto his years shall he give him again the price of his redemption. As a yearly hired servant shall he be with him, and the other shall not rule with rigor, over him in thy sight. If he be that, if he be not redeemed in these years, then he shall go out in the year of jubilee. Both he and his children with him. For unto me the children of Israel are servants; they are my servants, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Now we'll finish the last two chapters uh, tomorrow after church. Uh, uh, tomorrow, Saturday. Yeah, tomorrow. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.